So now we're going back to uh, last level, which is encompasses the uh, you know traditional boss rush mode, and then the uh, final Wily thing. So something that TJ wanted to do was we're gonna take alternate turns on this and fight the robot masters we did not fight earlier in the OP. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. Ready. What what was I I usually only see footage from uh So I'm not sure who this one is, let's see who it is. Yeah, we'll just figure out who it is. Thank you, man. Okay. Um Wasn't the first three the first three games, wasn't Wily's weakness always the gray weapon? I think it possibly, yeah. Um, you know, uh, while we were looking at stuff last time I found the Mega Man instruction booklet. Which has alternate, um, which has alternate kind of uh, profiles for them, and they're a lot shorter. So we have Tengu Man. Is a widely created Tengu Man to take advantage of the power of the storm, an experimental robot with many weaknesses. If you can find them, Tengu Man excludes confidential, frequently looks down on others. So look out for the tornado. Okay, so I, I would say Tengu Man is um. He's got a really cool design. Tengu yeah. Man is, is uh, a very atypical um, robot. Like, designed for a robot master. Like, he kind of stands out. You know, there's a lot of robot masters who kind of fit a, a design mode. And there's ones like, like Shit Man or Strike Man that kind of like stand out from that. Tengu Man, for me, is one of those. No, I think Tengu Man ha has more of a standard design than like, because there's there's like the hu more humanoid design, which is what Tengu Man fits, and then there's like the Air Man design, where their where their bodies are built into their or their heads are built into their bodies. Mm. Well, I have to see which one of this one is. <laughs> I think that's gonna be Clown. Yep. Didn't I fight Clown Man last time? No, I think I did. Okay. I think you fought Clown Man the first... I fought Clown, Clown Man in the first aborted LP. Yeah. Let me try this. Clown Man. Uh, Dr. Wily rescued Clown Man from a cancelled science fiction TV show. Made from old sets and props, he displays the charisma of show business. The truth is, Dr. Wily can't stop laughing at Clown Man's arms. This makes Clown Man especially proud of his arm span, which can extend over great distances, because he never got a laugh while on the show. What? No. That was weird. You know, I forgot about playing this. I forgot that Tengu Man's weapon is his I was using Flash Bomb. What are you doing? I think it's... I think it's Mommy, I don't think the... Uh, I don't think the um, Tengu thing actually hurts him. I think he just, you know, stops yeah. it for a little bit. Gonna spam him with the Mega Buster. Thunder Claw. Thunder Claw. No, it hurts him a little bit. No, I mean like, like that. Yeah, yeah. No, that hurts him. Mommy. Not much, but it hurts. Mommy. Him. Mommy. See you in my dreams. That's so fucked up. One, you're dead. Two, no. <laughs> He's a child. <laughs> uh, great man. Great man. <laughs> I love Grenade Man. The best description that fits Grenade Man is a crazy drill sergeant whose favorite pastime is to blow up everything in sight. Grenade Man's bold and reckless. I've got him stuck in a loop. <laughs> Grenade Man's bold and reckless personality was just the remedy for Dr. Wily. While he loves to hurt his enemy, strangely, Grenade Man longs for the pain of an explosion or two. That's so weird. Dude, you've lost so much life! Crazy Destroyer! Wait for it. Yeah, it did. <laughs> so weird. So now it's you with uh, Frostman. Oh, crap. So we have uh, Frostman. When Wily bought parts to enhance Clown Man, he overdid it. To use up those parts, he worked there and they had to come up with Frostman. He had so many. He had so many more parts than he expected. Why did he build an ice machine right inside Frostman? His most dangerous weapon is the ice wave—a quick blast of razor sharp icicles that freeze and cut through infinite contact. One thing I like the um, it's recommended. It has a few small little details that the Udon book doesn't have. I think my favorite one is when we're gonna get to uh, Aquaman's description. Oh yeah, I remember you reading that. It is weird how, like, these bosses aren't even 
Fred, if you have their weakness. Uh, Frostman, again, I still think is the most pathetic if you have his, uh, his weakness. Yeah, it is pretty easy. And the, uh, the, the theme for level 4, as we're hearing, is, is kind of a uh, slight remix of the uh, um, intro theme. For the, um, the, the kind of cuts. Like, there's, there's a music here that plays. The kind of like little music that plays when the Rock Master introduces themselves is used as a, as a remix for the main backing track of level 4. Oh, it's Sniper. Yeah, I know. I just have to find it. So we, we, we have Astro Man. An abandoned planetarium held lots of parts for Wily to convert into the menacing... Menacing? Astro Man? At first, Astro Man was designed to control the minds of those who viewed the planetarium show, but the greedy Wily prepared him for battle. Never want to shy away from a fight, Astro Man feels much more comfortable in space. Which I'm like, Astro Man is like a coward. <laughs> you know, his personality is very cowardly. Yeah. This is the best part, yeah, again, like, kind of like Frostman. If you can get Astro Man stuck, like, like in a place <laughs> like that, yeah. you don't feel bad for him. How much you're destroying him? No. You're a jerk, TJ. Look at me! I'm Astro Man! I'm glad you're gonna die one day. Me too. Here you go. Searchman. Searchman! Built from extra parts in an obscure, out-of-service security robot, Search Man has a Jekyll and Hyde has Jekyll and Hyde written all over him. Wily decided that two heads would be better than one, but then again, Wily never does anything for the better. <laughs> Search Man's head should cooperate. Search Man's heads should cooperate, but in reality, they are constantly bumping heads over every decision. Get it? Bumping heads. Ah. ah. Oh, see, there's the decoy. Yep. The one that I didn't show off because I kept getting easy. Uh, Easy cycles. <laughs> Deadly storm. Deadly storm. <laughs> <laughs> Still my That's stupid. The stupid animation of him dead. Where he's like, <laughs> I think this is gonna be Aquaman, probably. So I will fight him, and then you can finish off with Swordsman. Yay! So Aquaman. No, this is Swordman. Look at him. Look at that big sword he has. <laughs> Foot of water. Aquaman emerged from Wily's first shot at Frostman's ice machine, failed miserably. I that's, love that. I love the little attention to detail. That's, that's I like the that. That's really cool. Yeah, cool. Um, so he gave Aquaman a huge water tank in his chassis. Wily sent him to a water utility plant to train, and now he has emerged as one of Wily's best weapons. I don't know that. Yeah, I don't fucking know, man. And Gareth would be like, "What about Shadowman?" <laughs> I like that where his where his legs come uh, apart from his. Uh... Why are you using that? The... That is a nice touch. His weapon does his own weapon does nothing for him. Ugh, don't do that. <laughs> God. <laughs> Can't believe we're having this much trouble with Aquaman. I'm getting hurt on purpose, just I'm hoping you died a swordsman. Wow! <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> Take the damn booklet. The enclosed instruction booklet? <laughs> swordsman. One of Wiley's most prized thefts was an ancient sword he lifted fr from out of... I think it was a typo in the instruction booklet. He lifted from out, which is from one out, out of a mu museum. But the sword was so huge he could not find a use. He could and not find a use. This is who wrote this instruction booklet. Finally, he built Swordman, but could and not balance the weight. Why did decided he would have to? Why did decided he would have to must float Swordman's upper body above the rest so he wouldn't be so ill not be clumped? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the devastating sword can be charged up and shoots. I'm gonna. Oh crap! A, I'm gonna take a picture of this so you can see how fucked up it is. Did you waste on the war balloons? Yes! <laughs> Dumbass! Damn it! <laughs> You're the one who took so much damage from Aquaman! You know what? Who. What? Did you just spam water balloon? What at a time, you dumbass! <laughs> If he gets hit, don't spam him like six other ones. Don't just be wasted. Also, you shot like 50 water balloons <laughs> at Aquaman, you fuck. I bet you I get the big swordsman with only using 10 water balloons. 
Right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it too. Okay. Well, Place your bets in the comments, folks. If you think TJ can defeat Aquaman <laughs> with only using 10, so that should not go under 36. Alright. Haha! -ha! Two. Three. Well, you wasted. Four. Don't shoot now, shoot now. You can't, you can't oh, shoot him. <laughs> Damn it! What would you make me do? <laughs> what have got a few left, TJ? You only got two left. Oh, look at that! You didn't do it, TJ! Because you wasted two. If you hadn't wasted those two, TJ, like I wouldn't have. You wouldn't have done that. You would have done those five. You would have controlled right, me. <laughs> and now we come for the final confrontation with Wily. I don't understand why you just didn't kill him there. Like, just a, <laughs> just a, just a trash compactor. Like Casey Jones? Yeah. Wait, what? Casey Jones did that to the Shredder in the first Toys movie. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oops! <laughs> Curious, flat so, in the first Toys movie, Casey Jones is homophobic and he's a flat out murderer. Yeah. Exactly. Again, this theme is so good. Like, why do you. Gotcha! Gotcha! Short trap with Mega Man. There's no space in Mega Man. This game's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't there be a question mark at the end of that? He's asking a question. He's not. He's... No, it's it's hypothetical. Yeah, no, no, I put a question mark on that. Like, and this is this is a really kind of lazy, dumb-looking whiny machine. Not that good compared. Like, Gamma yeah. was massive, you know. Like, yeah. <gasps> duo. It's time to do the duo. And this is the section where you play as duo for the final fight. <laughs> that might have been fun. But it doesn't happen. What? It doesn't happen. What? Nope. I will say this rendition of the Proto Man theme makes it sound like the X Files theme. It does a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do a cover where you take that, but instead of having the do 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 do, just use this version of Proto Man's whistle. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were going to say put the X, X, X Files theme song over Proto Man's entrance. <laughs> So this guy, for this for this first phase, fla as always, Flash Bomb. You only use Why does he come out the window? The, the, the mock you and the show you his amazing eyebrows. Basically, so for this for this section of the fight, if if He's the die. if the laser gets too um, if Wily charges up too much power, he will fire a laser at you. That's really annoying. That, that that section. But if you hit him enough times, the laser won't, won't happen. Oh, uh, you. Yeah, you gotta aim at the cockpit. It looks like Eggman's cockpit is located in the mouth. <laughs> oh, see, it, it's uh, it's uh, it's not that hard. I know I'm not doing a great job of not getting hit by it, but it's really not that hard of a wily boss. It's kind of a it's kind of a letdown. Because most Mega Man like final boss fights are like annoyingly hard, with the exception of like uh, Gamma, you know, which you could just. You just top spin that bastard to death in like two seconds. Yeah, this looks pretty. I mean, I like that idea that if you're not hitting him enough, like if you're, if you're spending too much time dodging uh, things, you're not gonna be able to, or you're not, you're gonna have that laser fire. Yeah. I kind of like that. Not bad. And this is this is phase, only only two phases. Yeah. I like that Wily pod. With the with the skull on the front. What I do with this one, I just uh, I just flame sword him. And get hit. And get hit. So I am gonna because you don't save from that, I'm gonna cheat and use rush off. Oh, oh thank God he actually gave me health first off this time. Good good job. Maybe it's because you actually needed help. I need help last time. Didn't have a there, did he? Uh, you weren't in dire straits. So. Why do you use the flame? You Astro Crusher! I don't think Astro Crusher does much. You always say that! He's only really effective against Aquaman. No, but what I'm saying is you say you think. Okay, you don't use it now? Yeah, do it. Oh, look There's at that! Nothing! There's fucking nothing! <laughs> Piece of shit. Still better than... 
Oh, it doesn't even target him! Wow! Normally, Wily machines have like a specific weakness. I think I think they what made it. the ball? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! The same weapon you used against my crab robot! Penguin. Huh? Penguin. What are you talking about? The, the, the weapon, the enemy that's weak to the, the ball is a penguin. I understand, but in the first level, you use the bomb, which is technically the weakness of the crab robot, too. It's not really a weakness, he just gets hurt by it. No, it's the weakness, because if you hit him with the mega, you have to wait until he opens his open his, opens his thing to hit him with the mega buster. If you use the ball, he gets stunned and opens it. Open your enemy. That doesn't make any sense. Open your enemy. It's alright, I just keep saying the same thing. That's open your enemy. Open you in a minute. Oh, what?! <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I thought I'm gonna lose to this guy, which is kind of embarrassing. Because when I was doing a test run of him like a week ago, I just destroyed him with no trouble. And yeah, dead. Okay, so if one hit, yes, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Wily is defeated again. His sprite looks way too big for that machine when he pulls out of it. Oh God, you're right. I love just. T t t sorry, <laughs> I was well, wrong. Well, oops, oops. Please forgive me. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's just doing his morning push-ups. <laughs> He's doing yoga. <laughs> Salute the sun. <laughs> <laughs> That's the same. What apology, Wiley? <laughs> I wish this was like Mega Man Seven in the English version. He was like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> <laughs> What? 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 <laughs> but, but what? <laughs> ah! No! Several of that debris should have hit Wily. I <laughs> killed him. Anime cutscene. Anime cutscene. Animu cutscene. Shouju Mangu. <laughs> Again, why? Why couldn't we just get a Mega Man cartoon like that? That design. You mean with just, yeah, just like straight what, this? Yeah, w yeah, why did like, you know, because, you know, keep it slightly make, you know, anime influence if you want, just make it look more like the Archie books, but why did we need a terrible generic Ruby Spears? Uh, man of action, crappy redesign. Oh, that? Yeah. yeah. Well, see, I would, the Mega, the, the Ruby Spears one is still close, like, that's still Mega Man. Yeah. He's just given more adult proportions. Uh, you know? I, uh, some of the, some of the Robot Masters, I, I don't care for their redesigns. Okay. Um, I will say Dustman specifically. I don't think Dustman looks very good. I was uh, years ago. I was playing, ah! Years ago, I was playing this with some with some friends, and at that point, <laughs> as he was doing that, just like, "Well, he's dead. Better finish him off." <laughs> 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 oh my god! Again, nothing will beat uh, Ryan putting in the touch <laughs> at that point. <laughs> you got the touch. That's hilarious. Really, what I'm saying is, just go and watch the brain scratch. <laughs> It'll be a Mega Man. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> this I thought was I... weird. Like, stag images. Let's just move around and edit in. Put some flashing lights over him. Yeah. I had to save the dog. I like this. It's, it's emotional. Why are, you, why are you threatening someone? Yeah. It's emotional. Oh, he's saving him. <laughs> That's your fake in it. You don't get a lot of that. <laughs> what story content in the Mega Man game? No, I meant like it came out of his cross. I know, That's right? so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I purified you from all those STDs. <laughs> That's what I get for fucking clown man. No, I'm saying you don't get a lot, you don't you don't get a lot of that in, in uh, Mega Man stories where he's like saving people like. He's saving the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From like, potential, yeah, yeah. but we never, we never really get like the, the human interaction. Yeah, we saving like the 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 like the everyday stuff he would do, mm -hmm. which is an, an aspect they put in the comic book, which I liked. Oh yeah, Mega Man Day. Pro Man's like, leave my brother alone. It's my oh, turn yeah. to kill him. Why'd you take that thing out of his crotch? <laughs> I put that there. <laughs> I put that there. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> oh, it came from a grenade man. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> This thing, I always thought this is so, this is so over dramatic. It's like, I need you to give Mega Man a secret message for me. And Prime Man just was like, Duo said thank you. <laughs> was like, yeah. oh, okay. And then Mega Man starts by crying, like in the very anime way of, of going, 
duo when his eyes start like shaking. Yes, I love it. Why did you just get away? I love it. No, he hasn't said it yet. He says it when. I, I like that though, Dr. Light as like the teary eyes. I like yeah. that. I like that. Like one of my favorite things their relationship in the comic book it's so annoying that Archie had to put it on hiatus because they would Ian said he had he had plans to like kind of expand on their relationship more mm-hmm. so I was looking forward this is the bit where you know Mega Man just goes like duo it's like crying oh he he, he stutters duo yeah who, who, why would Pro Man do that my mother don't give a shit like this bit here he's like duo Yeah! <laughs> he just jumps in the it's, air. Like, it's so anime it hurts. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> I would go full weeaboo for a Mega Man <laughs> anime. <laughs> well, there was uh, one based on, on the Battle Network series. How long was it? Oh, a couple seasons, I think. What? Well, also, who cares about the Battle Network series? No one. Good point that's the made. lowest tier of Mega Man games. Think so? No, no, that's Mighty Number no. 9. That's not a Mega Man game. Sure it's not. Sure, it's not. <laughs> Dr. Whitey Price. So this is we have the credits at the end of Mega Man, and we're going to see all the uh, people who created or designed them. I think Seven was the only one where, where it was an English. So a Westerner designed it. No, Six. Six, six? had a Westerner. Was that seven? Western. Which one? Who was that? I think it was Nightman. Nightman. Yeah. I forget. Well, there's one of these that looks. I think, I think when we get the Frost Man, it looks nothing like the final sprite. Oh, yeah. It kind of... Yep. Yeah, that's the one, like... It looks more like yeah, uh, yeah. Freeze Man yeah, from that, Mega Man 7. That looks nothing like it at all. Like, good job. We see with Grenade Man, actually. Yeah. I'm Grenade Man! But the idea that... The idea that he has, like, the pull... The pin as the top mm. of his... Aside from color, Aquaman's kind of there. Yeah, for the most part, I guess. It just it looks kind of like a washing machine. We're just critiquing this shit now. <laughs> Quit critiquing their shit, bud. <laughs> I don't know what the Dr. Light Prize is, but um, I'm, I'm going to assume it's he programs you with a need for hunger, for speed. which you don't have to eat. <laughs> Dr. Light's a jerk. I know. That might be... <laughs> I always say that whenever you bring up a joke from one of your vines. Program to feel... No, they, they're just like, in general, why the fuck would you do that for? I know, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> the vine you made where you can film that clip and you don't say it like that. You scream it. What would you do that for? Why? Yeah. <laughs> that could me. I know. Who is that? I'm going to see less kind of like an unused Robert, Robert Mister. Get that Met out of here. <laughs> Shoo. Shoo Met, don't bump. What is the... Oh. The Krang? <laughs> It looks like... He's got a five figure face. You know, I thought it was crap. <laughs> this is kind of neat that they put these kind of like walk in progress yeah. things. It'd be nice if there was some context to them. Um, that kind of looks like... <laughs> what the fuck is that? that supposed to be Sword Man? Uh, yeah, because he has the he has T for his head and it's supposed to be like British. Okay. He's supposed to be refined. I'm not sure if the uh, 25th anniversary uh, Mega Man art book has any um, unused concepts. I don't think it does. I think in the Mega Man Legacy Collection, it includes like artwork for all the games. I think one of them, maybe three, Ooh, Pirate Man, has a bunch of unused ones. But I think from the <laughs> two Cat Man, <laughs> two voice actors did everything. Oh no, I guess not. More. <laughs> Um, and it's it's so quite. Few. I'm surprised there's this many people since everyone sounds the same <laughs> in this game. Um, All right, racist. Genie man, how is it racist? I don't know. We are not enemies. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, but I think that there was there was like like a press release of um, or like like a preview. But they included one of them was was Smoke Man, it was like a guy with just a cigarette in his mouth. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. I forget if, if that's, I forget if they removed that from the game, from the finished version or not. Finished version of what? Mega Man Legacy Collection, because that, that 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 concept art was included in like no, a preview there. of the game. It is there. Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure because yeah. we looked at it. Oh yeah, but I I think they put all of the because they're not put in like a, a separate thing. I think it's either three or four. 
they just dump all of the unused concepts. <laughs> Which I'm not sure if they were just unused concepts for that game, but um, but yeah, this is a uh, this is Mega Man Eight. You know? That was Mega Man Eight. Pretty pretty, pretty good game. I, I kind of like it's um. It's always nice when the game when they like <laughs> Yeah, beat. <laughs> <laughs> And Rush is looking at a butterfly. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was looking at Mega Man's butt. Dead <laughs> ass. Dead <laughs> ass. I'm going to sniff the crap out of that butt. Oh, like literally? Yeah. This is his dog. No, I mean, he's going to sniff the crap out of his ass. Ew, no. Why would you take it to that place? Good night, everybody. Yeah, beat!